Wayne Barron here darkeffects.net with more tutorials or instructional videos or whatever y'all want to call them and right now we're going to be doing something that I brought up in a video that I released yesterday which was uh, how to uh, back up your Google data okay and actually have it set in somewhere other than the default drive directory. Your default drive directory where Google is at is going to be uh, your C drive, documents and settings, your user, local settings, application data, Google Chrome. Your user data is here. Your uh, The executable is right here. This is your user data and this is all of your information right here. So. Um, whenever you have to reinstall your system or your system crashes and you lose your drive and you're unable to uh, recover it then you will lose all of your data from your Google Chrome and so what you can do is that you can actually put your uh, your files in another directory okay for an example this directory over here is my Google Chrome for my XP user and see what I want what I want to do is that I want to continue using my Google Chrome profile from my XP user and basically share it across both Windows 7 and my Windows XP um, users and so what you do is really simple okay this right here is my regular Google Chrome so whenever we open up our regular Google Chrome, which is just the Chrome that is installed inside of my C drive, and as you can see it loading here, uh, it's just loading my default profile. Okay, now whenever we open up um, our Google Chrome that's feeding off of my XP profile, uh, whenever it decides to load sometime today, and we are waiting and waiting and here it goes okay this one right here as you can see it's got all my folders and all my information and so uh, as you can tell that's two different Google Chromes I did not have to go into incognito or anything like that it's just two different Chromes reading from two different directories so let's go over here and find out how we do that so let's go ahead and minimize these windows and let's bring up my notepad okay what you do is that you um, let's bring this over here you right click on well first you go in and you relocate your folders and so you go inside of your C drive and you grab a hold of your main Chrome folder or you can go all the way back to Google and uh, which is right here and then you go wherever you want to put it at uh, to start off with you don't want to move it you don't move it over there you just want to copy it over so what you do is that you just drag and drop it over into the other folder and then it will copy all of the information now, I don't want to do that because I've already got everything set up and so um, I'll let me let the thing catch up with itself. Okay, I'm back. Uh, so anyway, after you've relocated your folder, you want to right click on the Google Chrome <clears throat> icon. Okay, go down to properties. And once the dialog opens up, you will have this right here okay but the ending part is what you want is this right after the chrome.exe you do a space and then you do dash user dash data dash directory equals quote m colon backslash google and whatever your directory is which is the user data end quote and so once you put that in and then you apply it and then you okay it once you click and you open it up 
then it is going to launch that directory because it's going to read its data from that directory. And as you can see from the regular Google Chrome, it just ends with .exe. And so basically what you do is that you type, you go space, whoops, space, dash, user dash, data, dash, directory equals quote. And then in here, you would put in the directory going to your user data. And then you apply it, you click OK, and then you're ready to go. And so, but uh, you once you have it working the way you want it to work then you can go in and you can delete out the uh the uh directory not let's bring this open here you don't want to delete out you don't want to delete out your application but your user directory. Now this all depends on whether or not you want to have two different copies of your Google Chrome. This is my XP Chrome, so I've got it, and then I've got a fresh copy of Google Chrome. So that's two different Chromes that I can open up that uses two different sessions. They do not share the same sessions because they're reading from two different data. And so you can have as many as you want. You can have one for for you, one for your wife, one for your kids, and everybody can use the same uh, um, operating system profile and have different Chromes for their own use. So anyway, Wayne Barron here for darkeffects.net. I hope that y'all enjoyed this quick Google tip, and uh, y'all have a great weekend. Take care now.